Hey guys, this is Hafiz, and today I'm in Johnstown, New York, at the Walmart facility. Uh, just want to share with you guys that uh, I'm being on this Walmart for so many times, and I I see them like you know fully packed up, and if I miss the appointment by like maybe. Uh, you know one hour window they're never gonna take me but today I was late from my appointment and they still take me in and I don't see a lot of trucks in the Walmart warehouse and the reason is uh, because of the coronavirus is going on and uh, I think that's the main reason because uh, a lot of people decided to sit home not to get outside and take all that kind of risk so as a truck driver we should be careful with uh, whatever is going on and uh, also on the other side we should avoid uh, truck stops and uh, warehouses contact with the people but being a truck driver mostly if we are over the road drivers we have to sit down in the truck and drive for hours so we are pretty much uh, uh, safe <clears throat> on the other side it's good for the trucking industry right now because uh, if a lot of people not gonna get out of the houses so we're gonna have a better rates better prices so I think it's time to make money let me know what you guys think and uh, I hope uh, this little video help you guys. I'm at the Niagara facility water bottle uh, in Connecticut and uh, over here in this warehouse is the same situation. I don't see trucks and sometime if I come to this warehouse I have to wait like an hour like two three hours to get uh, uh, to the guard shack and check in so over here I see nobody here and uh, we have a shortage of water and I'm actually picking up a water load over here so um, I don't know uh, why if they don't have a product to ship or what's going on so uh, and also uh, today I think uh, somebody told me that the Trump uh, actually I mean the government uh, decided to take off uh, the restriction for the e-logs so we don't have to use e-logs anymore and uh, we can use a paper log and uh, we can try to help out the nation and they all need food and people sitting home and they're not getting out they're scared and we should be working as soldiers uh, for the country and help them out and because we are the only people out there i was going through the springfield mass areas new york and connecticut area and i don't see any traffic on the roads just because everything is shut down and uh, people decided not to get out of the houses and they have a shortage of milk water and uh, groceries and all that kind of stuff because people getting crazy about uh, buying stuff and stocking it because the uh, government uh, decided to uh, shut down the whole system and uh, it's, it's for the people's safety so as a truck driver uh, I mean uh, we should stay away from uh, uh, people where you, you see gathering and all those uh, people uh, um, and uh, when you check in be careful and you know use all the preca precautions but once you're in your, in your truck always wash your hands sanitize and uh, I think this is a time to help out uh, uh, the community and the country people and and also uh, it's a lot of uh, good uh, good lows out there you don't see a lot of lows because not a lot of warehouse shipping but if you go towards Texas Florida and you run that area you get around like $5,500 loads coming back to New Jersey side because New Jersey and Connecticut New York are more affected areas and uh, You cannot get out of the houses for um, after like um, 
5 p.m. because no restaurants, cinemas, and all those uh, um, uh, public places, they're not going to be open. So you can have home deliveries. So, I mean, it's, it's like a disaster situation. The stock market is crashed and everything is down to almost like a bottom and it's like a recession time period right now so but as a as a business i think this is a time this is a time to cover up all those all those things that uh cause trucking industry a lot of damage and uh if we also get out there make some money and also we can help out the people out there by supplying them food and all the things that they need at home because they need everything at home and they can have home deliveries um, so this is our job as soldiers that we help out uh, the country and people and supply them uh, the food and all that uh, good stuff they need to survive and this uh, a stressful situation right now uh, they never have been uh, uh, they never been through this uh, situation before I think so um, I hope you guys uh, um, like this message and uh, spread it to your friends and try to pull as many loads you can as there is no more e-log restrictions there and uh, uh, you can drive with the paper log so be safe and uh, uh, this is a time to become a soldier without guns. All you need is just a driving time. That's it. All right, guys. Uh, 